Hello and welcome back. This is Coach Steve Daly guiding you through the course in time where you're developing a new muscle, new competencies for time mastery. And we're walking through, as I have reminded you throughout here, a time mastery formula. We've just completed the three principles, mindset, taking care of the goose, and goals as a context for how you use time, honoring the law that time makes room for what we choose. Now, uh, I've also invited you to do homework after each of the principles, and if you've not yet done the homework to uh, explore your beliefs, uh, uh, review your f the four domains of success and fulfillment and how you're allocating time, what your top three goals are, if you have not yet done the homework for those principles, please pause this recording, go back to uh, what I've uh, uh, encouraged you to do there. It's simple, but it's really powerful. Uh, you know, if you've been around the block in life and in business, it's easy to dismiss things like this as, yeah, I kind of get it. I'll, I'll move on. And I just want to kind of get to the to the bottom line and get through the program. OK, well, that's good. But I recommend all the time to people that the fastest path to new success is to be new, to pretend like you're taking new things on as though it's the very first time that you've ever heard uh, an idea or a strategy. And when you are humble in being new, you will accelerate your growth dramatically. So we are now ready to move into the three principles that honor the second law, which is time loves structure. In an earlier segment, I mentioned and referred to the fact, the obvious fact that time is structured and therefore time tends to uh, work in our favor when we uh, honor time the structure of time. And the place where we're going to start here today is with tools, the tools that we use to put structure to the way we use time. And the principle basically states simple, singular tools equal velocity. If I were to ask you, would you rather have uh, success sooner or later, you'd say, well, I'd like to have it right now, of course. Uh, why wait? And so if we want to add velocity to the way we achieve things in life, when it comes to how we use time, we need to make sure that our tools are simple and singular. So what do I mean by that? Well, basically, you're looking at three different objects here. A notepad for ideas, a, a, a journal or a, or a notepad for to-dos, and then a calendar. I'm going to go through these in detail, make sure you understand their, their powerful purpose. But note, first and foremost, there's only only three tools, and they should be singular. Uh, if you uh, uh, like a, are like a, a lot of people, you uh, have somewhere in your desk drawer sticky notes. Wonderful invention. But those sticky notes can get plastered all over everywhere. Uh, some people are, uh, instead of sticky notes, or in addition to even, like piles, piles of paper. Some people scratch out notes on the backs of napkins, on uh, random pieces of paper, on the back of a, of, of a handout that they might have picked up in a meeting, for example. We want to uh, 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 simplify and create a singular solution for where exactly are you going to put notes. I like the idea of having a pad handy myself and or a journal. Uh, those are great places uh, that are portable, that uh, uh, you, can, you can use. And then there's, of course, many, many digital solutions for how to capture notes and ideas, starting with simply setting up a file. But make sure it's one place and one place only. Your next tool is a to-do list. Now, the to-do list uh, is simply a list of all the things that you know that you need to take action on. Um, if your to-do list allows or is structured in such a way to also uh, uh, encourage you to um, write down or type in a intended date for completion, then that is, uh, that is an extra benefit, an extra value to a to-do list. But at minimum, we need one place to put all of the things that we know we need to take action on. Now, again, that can be a, a, a pad or a journal of some sort that's dedicated to your to-dos different than the place that you're putting your notes and ideas, or it could be a digital solution. Uh, and I'll tell you, the, 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 <laughs> the, the options and applications for 
to-do lists is mind-boggling and very, very clever and well thought out. So just do a Google search uh, using whatever preferred digital platform that you uh, that you uh, that you have, and you will find your way to a good resource there. And finally, we need a calendar. Of course, we need a place to put down what are we going to do in a particular day. Now, I'll be talking in another segment about how to use each of these tools, but for now. What's critical is that we identify the simple, singular tools that you're going to use. When it comes to calendars, of course, every smartphone uh, today comes with a calendar. There's applications that add fancy functionality to calendars. You pick what you want. I will say, though, uh, I do not recommend uh, what's actually depicted here in this picture is a, 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 I do not recommend a form of a wall calendar. Usually there's not enough room to write all the things that you really need to get done in a day if you're an ambitious and busy person. Um, and uh, it's typically not uh, portable enough if it's hanging on a wall. So uh, use what works for you, but that's my recommendation. So here's your homework uh, to begin to master this, the principle around tools. I want you to combine all the different things that you're using right now if you've got piles and sticky notes and notepads and so forth. Let's, let's do a sweep, put them all together, select the method that you're going to be using, the one thing that you're going to fall in love with. I love to, uh, uh, to, to encourage people to just start fresh, just start brand new with a new tool and a new uh, commitment to using that tool. And finally, we're going to simplify how we keep track of everything by having these three simple tools, a uh, place to put ideas, a to-do list, and our calendar. And then you're going to clean up and organize. Uh, you're going to find that there's a lot of things that you've been keeping track of, shuffling about, uh, carrying around unnecessarily. I call it a, a rocks in your backpack that you just need to get rid of, purge, organize, prioritize, uh, put some thought into what's really important and most important to you and make sure that uh, you feel fresh and clean with the st with the tools that we're going to be using uh, to organize our time and then finally i want you to make whatever you've chosen here whatever you've cleaned up uh, simplified uh, distilled everything down to uh, the three uh, items the three objects uh, a notepad or a place to put ideas a place to put your to do's and a place to put your calendar uh, make sure that whatever tool you land on now is prominent, that is easy to access no matter where you happen to be, no matter what environment you're in, uh, no matter uh, you know, whether you're uh, in, at an office or in your home or out and about uh, in your car. Uh, make sure that it, uh, the tools that you have are easy to get to. That's, what makes, uh, that's why uh, digital solutions are are really a, a good choice if, if you're comfortable with that. And uh, they, and it needs to be portable. Uh, all these tools need to be able to go with you wherever you happen to, to, to go and uh, do your work, uh, your, your work called success and goal achievement. So let's get to work. Let's do the homework. And we will then see you back in segment six of The Course in Time.